Hey everyone, it's Chelsea from Chelsea Makes and Millie, my cat, who has apparently decided that my workspace is her bed for the day. In this video, we are going to be discussing the all new Cricut Auto Press. I'm going to start by sharing the specs of the machine. We'll do a quick demo and then I'll share my initial thoughts. Let's get into it. I primarily use my Cricut Maker for things like miniatures that are crafted out of paper or paper props. But as a small business, I find myself relying more and more on the Cricut line to create things like branded products for my business, whether it's t-shirts with my logo on it or tote bags that I can have at craft shows. And that is where the Cricut Auto Press comes into play. If you're familiar with Cricut in the world of iron on vinyl, then the Auto Press is going to be an easy introduction. Cricut already has a number of heat presses in their collection, but the auto press in particular is geared towards makers and small businesses who are batch producing product. Now, obviously it's a lot bigger, but it's also a little bit more hands-off than some of the other machines that are already available. So let's get into the specs of this machine. The Cricut auto press is going to retail for around $1,000. And as you can see, this is a big machine weighing around 53 pounds. So it's got a length of around 26 inches, a width of around 17, a height of seven, and that's just when it's closed. When it's open, the lid height is around 25 inches. Now, all of that said, you have a heat plate of 15 by 12 inches, which is the largest heat plate of any of the Cricut auto presses. The good thing is that even though you need a large workspace for this machine, you can store it. So it locks in the closed position and then you can lift it up from the handle and store it on its base. It stands up vertically so you can put it behind a door or hidden in some closet with all the rest of your craft supplies. And this is especially important if, like me, you're working out of a space that's not necessarily a fully dedicated craft space. This is my living room. So it's important that not only the machine look good, but that it can also be stored. The auto press time and temperature settings are all set up through your control pod, which is attached with a little USB plug to the back of your machine. It's got a temperature dial here, a time dial here, and then it's got four preset buttons. These preset buttons are set up for some of the most common material combinations. However, if you find that you're using a different combination, you can set it with the dials and then press down on any of these preset numbers to make that your standard. So that means every time you press one, it will always automate to those settings that you've preset. That said, the machine goes up to 400 degrees and it does take some time to get there. It takes around eight minutes to get to full heat. Let's talk about safety. As someone with a cat who frequently invades the craft space and as someone who may or may not have some melted carpet due to a misplaced iron incident, heat safety is really important to me. And fortunately, the Autopress does have a lot of built-in safety features that make it fairly foolproof. And when we're talking about safety, we really have to start with the lid. So the Cricut Auto Press opens to 65 degrees. Similar heat presses on the market open vertically, which means you have to reach your hands under the heat plate to grab your project or to place a new project in. And the nice thing about the way this opens up is that you've got a lot of space to grab your project without risking getting too close to the actual heat plate. Both the lid and the handle are made from temperature rated plastic, which means that they're fairly cool to the touch. Additionally, you can close and lock this machine in this position while it's cooling down from as high as 400 degrees. That way you're not having to wait for it cool down in an open and exposed position. You don't have to babysit it. You don't have to worry about your cat getting too close. You can lock it and let it cool. Finally, the Cricut Auto Press has a 13 minute shutoff timer, which means if you haven't used your machine in 13 minutes, it will just turn completely off, which as someone with anxiety, it gives me a lot of peace of mind knowing that I can walk away and it won't stay on. Let's get into a demo of how this thing works. I'm going to be making tote bags with the Auto Press. I've already input my heat settings into the control pod. You can use the Cricut heat guide linked below to determine what settings you will need for your material combination. I have pre-cut and pre-weeded my iron-on design using my Cricut maker. So now I'll place my tote and the design on the mat and put everything in place with some heat resistant tape. The auto press is compatible with both iron-on vinyl and infusible ink. But in this example, I'm using everyday iron-on in black as well as some Cricut tote bag blanks. Once it's in the machine, all I need to do is press down the lid. 
It doesn't require any real pressure to pull the lid down, technically only two fingers. You'll notice that it comes down at an angle at first and then evens out to a flat surface two inches above the plate. This gives the whole heat press even pressure. As soon as it comes to its final position, it locks in place, freeing me up to prepare the next bag. When it's done, it pops open. And if you have a second press like I do, you can preset that into one of your control buttons, flip the project over, and quickly press again. Overall, I think the Cricut Auto Press is a great machine for any maker or small business that's batch producing. The safety features, the overall look and feel of it, and the ease of use make this, in my opinion, one of the best machines of its type on the market. With all of that said, if you're someone who's more of a casual maker, maybe you make a t-shirt here and there, this is probably not going to be the machine for you. If that sounds like you, you probably want something more like the Cricut Easy Press, which is a little bit less expensive and also much easier to store. I am excited to share more of what I'll make with my Cricut Auto Press in the future, but for now, if you have questions or comments, please leave them below. I'll do my best to answer as many of them as I can. Now, go make something!